I am going to have another tattoo done today. <laughs> I am actually most scared and excited because I am going to have it done by an apprentice and not a tattooer, experienced one, you know. But this is the tattoo, the first tattoo I ever wanted to get. I wanted to get it since I was in primary school. So it's been plenty of time. So I am finally going to have it done and that is good. And I just wanted to say I look beautiful today like some kind of a gorgeous flower goth princess. I risk saying that actually. But you know, this blues, this blues is everything, absolutely everything. It's from Mojito and it's it's beautiful. I mean, it's a bit too transparent. I don't like that, you know, you can see my bra through it. But I'll survive that, you know. This blues is too gorgeous not to love it actually. Plus, one other thing is that my shoulder hurts so bad after carrying that heavy ass bag yesterday like it hurts so much really so in general we've got no food at home therefore i had to head you know for a breakfast to mcdonald's of course because you know i have mcdonald's like one minute you know away from home so yeah that is my my very nutritious breakfast reunited with my mate we're heading to Costa we're heading to Costa right now and she is very excited about me getting to do tattoo and she's probably more excited than I am yes even she's more scared yeah I am more scared than excited not, not scared you're terrified yeah like terrified petrified I'd say yeah. and the truth is that you know I don't think I am going to have like any even slightest feeling of excitement at least not until after getting the tattoo done because it just oh, <laughs> help me <laughs> okay. so we got our first dinners from Costa they're like almond ones and <laughs> kind of good are they good good good, good. Exactly. Good. We both look kind of gothy. You with these eyes and this choker necklace. We do. Yeah. <laughs> Never no. mind. You're a hippie. You're a hippie. in Costa again I am having my frappe my frustino with uh, syrup vanilla syrup and soy milk and she is having something cookie lime thing you know frustino as well but I know what is the information that you're waiting for so eagerly I got my tattoo oh my gosh yes this 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 is just gold this is the most beautiful tattoo in the world and certainly the most beautiful tattoo of mine like this is so sharp the way is in this machine called pen and it it's so prestigious and it's so so gold so this is the tattoo of Jack Sparrow and I wanted to have it since I wasn't from my school and this is just a dream coming true <laughs> Exactly. Hello. I'm taking over this vlog and this channel. Yeah. <laughs> so evil. No, I don't have anything to say. Hi. I look so ugly. I look so pale. I actually look so pale, and I've no makeup on my face except for lips. I feel obliged to admit that this lipstick sucks and I will have to remove it and you know I borrowed Zuna's makeup kit that she's carrying in her bag so that I can make up my eyes because I cannot wear no makeup so if I am to remove the lipstick I have to have something on my eyes definitely. Da, 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 da.
I'm being back from the choir rehearsal because similarly just like a month ago this is my reason for coming back home earlier like earlier than usual because normally I would stay at the seaside for two more weeks and I am back right now so that I can perform with the choir and I am pretty satisfied with that I just wanted to show you how gorgeous is that I look today like this is so neat I even did this you know thing to my legs like this is this is so cool and I look so nice I mean my wrist looks so thin I love it and this blues this blues this blues is so perfect this blues is so beautiful and so I, this is the pirates medallion from pirates of the caribbean you know matching with my new tattoo so I just wanted to let you know that I look Perfectly perfect today. So here as we got like a few minutes for each other I would like to say some few things about the studio about the tattoo studio I was in So I was afraid of so many things when it comes to this studio I mean when it comes to the new studio that I have never been into and like a new tattoo artist Like I was definitely worried of every possible thing, you know, and the studio had nothing of what I was worried of because everything was absolutely great absolutely perfect you know first thing I entered the studio and it looked so casual white walls some you know minor artwork on the walls and like a normal sofa and a white table and none of these ugly tattoo magazines but coloring books but it's sweet so first impression was great because I hate those creepy tattoo studios like they freak me out the second thing was the tattoo studio owner who like greeted me and he was so normal many of the tattoo artists are like so arrogant and quite mean and he was just so so normal and that, that, that was great that, that was so great and the third thing is that they got it all prepared, you know, the design printed already in the right size and everything and they found it in a good quality, I don't know how, but, but they, they have. And everything was just prepared for me so that when I get into the studio we can start tattooing, tattooing, tattooing. Why do I keep saying tattooing? Like it's tattooing, you know, the planet from Star Wars. <laughs> that is so funny, that is hilarious. But back onto the topic. Next thing is the tattoo artist that was tattooing me. Again, the tattooing. And like I said before, it was to be the apprentice of the tattoo studio owner. And I was quite afraid she's going to be one of those, you know, aloof girls, all tattooed and like quite emo. And I'm quite scared of that kind of people. I'm sorry, but I am. And I was afraid that she's an apprentice and she will not exactly know what to do. But the moment I saw her, all my worries were gone because she was looking so normal and she was smiling so broadly and he just introduced herself and she was so nice all the time and smiley and lovely and all really sincere at the same time like no fake smiles nothing just everything so natural and that was so lovely and the whole tattooing space i said tattooing again i'm sorry I was upstairs like there was a staircase and you were going upstairs and it was also lovely, like, ah, I finally found my studio, that is so great. Plus, they haven't been playing any rap music or any metal, any rock music, just a plain radio. And I am so thankful for that because I hate, like, when they play their own music in tattoo studios, like, that music is so ew. And another thing that I loved about being tattooed in that particular studio by that particular girl is that she was having this tattoo machine that is so prestigious, so perfect and it made my tattoo so prestigious, so sharp and so gorgeous and so detailed, you know like all this sun shines and the wings and the waves it's all really, really neat, I think uh, so she got that perfect, perfect, perfect tattoo machine and the fun thing is that she bought it yesterday so it is like a destiny, you know, for, for my tattoo so that it can be perfect just like I always wanted it and, you know, it was like two hours and a half of tattooing I said tattooing <laughs> Because, you know, she hasn't been doing it all her life or anything. She rather wanted to do it slowly than to fuck it up. And that is good, right? But it was really nice. And that tattoo machine was, like, really not that painful. That's just so lovely. It was great. It was perfect. 
I am so satisfied with that, with everything, with studio, with people, and with the artwork. I was 100% satisfied, and that is great. So I have found my studio, I am fulfilled right now. I can go to that studio for the rest of my life, and that is great, that is great. That is awesome. Therefore, I would like to encourage you to thumbs this video up if you like it and stalk me by clicking the subscribe button. Adios!